Hi, I'm Beckett from Courtside Sports and today we're going to be comparing the all-new V13 Pro Staff 97 to the RF97 Autograph. It's finally here, the legendary Pro Staff series receives its 13th update and it's mostly just minor changes refining this legendary formula that's been working for advanced players for years and years. There are two big differences that really tell the story between the Pro Staff versus the RF. The first one, of course, is that big weight number. So the RF97 autograph posts one of the highest weights you can get in a retail racket today at 340 grams. Whereas the Pro Staff, it's still pretty heavy compared to pretty much everything on the market, but it's a much lighter 315 grams. So we've got a 25 gram difference. The next one is gonna be the Flex. The RF97 Autograph has always been a pretty stiff racket. It means you're getting a lot of power, extra spin from that higher stiffness carbon versus this new Pro Staff they've dropped the stiffness points a little bit to give you some of that feel back. They've gotten rid of the old countervail technology in the handle as well um, to really try and keep you as connected to the ball as possible. So let's hop into the scores now to figure out really what do those two spec differences really mean for the Pro Staff series. So first up we have power and I think this is one of the biggest differences. So weight, extra weight almost always gives you more power but so does extra stiffness. So this is why the RF earns a score of 8.5 versus the Pro Staff's 6.5. RF really gives you a lot of natural power just from that heft and that swing weight, but also it gives you that kind of extra juice from the racket because of that stiffness. I hit some of the hardest shots off my forehand side, especially with the RF97, just because you can let that weight do the work for you, where on the other hand, the Pro Staff 97, I had to do a lot more of that work, really focus on getting my foot feet set up, using my body weight, pushing into the core and accelerating the racket head. I struggled with serving with the RF more than I have with any other racket, and I know that's just 100% the weight. That's my skinny chicken arms not able to pull off the Roger Federer autograph racket. But even with the Pro Staff 97, even though it's a little bit lighter, I can swing through the ball a little bit more easily. I was having a hard time generating a lot of power on the serve, and that is one thing that definitely is going to contribute to a little bit lower score with that racket. With spin, we see a difference again. So I was able to get a little bit better spin with the RF because of the stiffness mainly. The other amazing thing is the spin you get on slices. The backhand slices were a dream with that racket. So that's why, again, the RF is gonna beat out the Pro Staff, scoring a 7.5 out of 10 over a 6.5. And one limitation the RF is gonna have in terms of spin was quite heavy. It is hard to accelerate. I don't find that such a big issue on the slice because like, I don't finally have to really whip my wrist through my slice to get a lot of spin. Um, whereas my forehand and on top spins, I feel like I really need a lot more of the kind of whipping action to unlock spin potential in any frame. So here with that 340 gram weight, it's a bit tougher and there were times where I couldn't access the spin I needed, but I know that's just a limitation of my own game and my own strength. So next up is stability. And I think this is one of the more improved areas of these two rackets. I found the off center hits to be a little bit unforgiving in previous generations. The countervail and before included back to the 95s, of course. Um, but here the Pro Staff is a little bit more forgiving and of course the RF, all that weight, the higher stiffness is just going to plow through. The RF is one of the most stable rackets you can buy if you can get it out in front. So the RF is just going to narrowly beat up the Pro Staff, though I was impressed with both. The RF scores a 9 versus the Pro Staff scores an 8. Now control is the area where I think the Pro Staff shines a little bit more than the RF. Softer layup of graphite, the little bit more maneuverable feel from just the normal Pro Staff gives you that higher level of control. I felt a little bit more encouraged to go for my shots, go for those spots on the court that 
closer to the line, maybe a little bit higher risk. I usually felt more confident with the Pro Staff 97. And that is why the Pro Staff 97 edges out the RF97 autograph from nine points to seven. So last up we have feel, and this is of, as usual the most subjective category, and I have to say I prefer the softer feel in the Pro Staff to the firmer feel in the RF. And the higher stiffness of the RF really shoots the ball out of the string bed really quickly. The ball comes in and out, it feels kind of point and shoot. I prefer having more dwell time on the string bed, and that is what that lower graphite flex from the Pro Staff 97 offers. The ball sinks in, you really get a lot of feedback, but none of it is uncomfortable, and that is why the Pro Staff edges up the RF by eight points to nine. So one thing to note, these are the two heaviest versions of the Pro Staff in the lineup. So we've got the RF 340, the Pro Staff 97, 315, down to the 97L, we have a 290 gram unstrung weight, and then the UL or Ultra Light is new to the Pro Staff line, that's gonna be 270. Um, so those lighter ones are gonna be good for juniors who really need that control. I know a lot of the juniors are playing with more powerful rackets, but if you really like to swing big and hit hard, um, dominate the point, you may like going with a slightly still lighter, so if you're still growing, getting stronger, you still need that lighter weight, but you're gonna get more control feel from the box beam, from this kind of precision-oriented frame. You can shop these rackets online at our website, www.courtsidesports.com. We also have an Instagram page where I post little teasers here and there at Courtside Sports on Instagram. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I love it chatting with you guys about different comparisons between rackets and hearing your racket histories. It's super interesting and awesome. If you like this video, leave it a like, please. It really helps us out. And if you want to hear more from us, definitely subscribe. My name is Beckett from Courtside Sports, and we'll see you next time.